Welcome back to our profile on promising venture exchange companies. And for our final interview today, we have a company that's developing a vanadium mine in Nevada. Now, what is vanadium, you ask? Well, it's often used to strengthen steel, but it has another up-and-coming use as well, batteries for the renewable energy sector. One of the problems faced by renew renewable energy project is that supply can be uneven. On a sunny day, a solar project may produce more energy than a grid needs, while it may not produce enough when it's cloudy. Vanadium flow batteries capture and store this energy, excess energy, for when it's needed most. And our next guest says China is getting into this new technology in a big way. We are now joined by Ron McDonald. He is the executive chairman of American Vanadium. Welcome. Oh, thanks for having us. Now, tell us again what exactly vanadium is. Vanadium is one of those families, I call them the word metals and word minerals, that most people don't know a lot about, but uh, modern day life would be very difficult without them. A lot of talk has been in the past year or so about critical, uh, about uh, rare earths, which are critical elements, but there's another family of uh, minerals out there that are just as needed for modern uh, society and, and technology. So, this is a, this is a, a, a a product that traditionally would go into uh, strengthen steel, mm -hmm. so it is a green product because going into steel, if you put, uh, you know, two percent of vanadium in, you use thirty percent less iron ore. So, uh, so it, it makes the uh, it makes it stronger and it, and does it at a more it makes it more economical. But the really good thing that's made, exciting us is its use in renewable energy. One of the biggest problems with renewable energy, and I think you heard from a previous guest, mm -hmm. uh, was how do you make it economical? You don't know when the wind is going to blow. You don't know when the sun is going to shine or it's going to be cloudy. So sort of the holy grail has been storage. How can you take it when it's not economical, store it in a, in a matter that you can dispatch it when it's required on the grid? So for the last number of years, there's been a lot of, uh, lot of talk about various battery technologies that mm -hmm. can do it. Vanadium flow batteries are one of the leaders. Uh, it is able to store a large amount of electricity and dispatch it exactly when it's needed. The difference with a vanadium flow battery with a lot of the other batteries out there is the vanadium uh, electrolyte never really burns out. Mm. So you can charge and discharge it uh, tens of thousands of times uh, and still get the same performance. All right, now you guys aren't on that side of the equation. You're on the getting the stuff out of the ground side of well, things, right? Well, actually not. That's, I'm glad that you answered the, asked that question because I mean, this was a, a we are you know small cap uh, venture uh, capital company and we had this incredible deposit and we were going to take it to market for the steel sector. And we started to look and we said, you know, the highest best value for our shareholders is actually to try to uh, get into the vanadium electrolyte business. Mm. So we looked at that and then we said, hang on a second, we're, we're going to be the only deposit in the United States probably for the foreseeable future. So as that industry develops in the United States, we will be the only supplier, uh, a domestic supplier of vanadium electrolyte. So we've changed our corporate objectives from just being a company that gets a mine into production to being a company that takes that production, processes it, and we fully expect to be in the battery business as, as it develops in the United States. Why are you guys the only deposit? I mean, is this stuff only found in one spot in Nevada or isn't it found somewhere else? Uh, not in the United States. It's not. It's, it's usually a co-product with iron ore uh, fines and things like that. So as a co-product, if you want to get that little bit of vanadium out, you might have to spend a billion dollars for iron ore deposit to get it out. It's unique that uh, this stands on its own. Uh, it's been highly oxidized by Mother Nature over about five million years. It's pulled it up out of the bedrock and put it into shales. So we've got a unique deposit and uh, and our thinking is to take that unique deposit and to start creating a green tech industry in the United States with it. Is it easy to get out of the ground? Or it's it's very easy. Like I call it Fisher Price Mining. You know, I'm, I'm involved with another, a number of other mining companies, and they're all complicated, and they've got difficult met metallurgy. This one here, you basically walk, go up like a Fisher Price truck when you're a kid. You scrape it, you put it in a truck, you go down, you crush it a little bit, and then you put it into an acid heap leach, and over time you extract your vanadium. Mm. Now, getting into the battery side of things sounds like it's going to be a big jump. And I wonder, is it a proven technology? Is there demand for it? Is there a market for it? Or do you have to build the batteries the and then try and sell them? No, the market, the market is there. This technology's been around about, for about 40 years. Now, one of your previous guests talked about wind power and how the price of turbines have come down and solar panels have come down. Mm -hmm. It's come down because in the 11th five-year plan that China put out uh, five years ago, it's the first time that they talked about renewables. And over five years, they became the leaders in the production of turbines and solar vol uh, uh, voltage cells. That's what they did. Mm -hmm. And not only did they do that, but they brought the cost of production down and they made them more efficient. Now, this is the first time this new 12th five-year plan that China's just put out that they've actually set targets for storage capacity.
Right. And so what they've said is by 2020, uh, they will develop uh, a storage battery, a uh, storage industry um, that would equate to about 10% of their total production of power. That is astronomical. So what it means is that they've de decided that uh, batteries and, and other uh, storage uh, products are going to be part of their smart grid mm. program. And now I've asked the other guests uh, their thoughts on the venture exchange. Uh, what's it been like for you guys, raising money, getting taken seriously, that kind of thing? Well, I think it all depends on the asset that you've got and the management team and where the market's at. We, we've had nothing but success in, uh, as, a, you know, as a, a, a venture exchange. The TSX Venture Exchange has allowed us to tap into a pool of investors that understand risk and reward. And as long as we keep in touch with them and keep them updated, they're highly... Uh, uh, knowledgeable investors right they follow these things because they're looking for the next big thing and they get in on a small amount and there's a potential for a huge gain there's also potential for loss yeah. so it, it's a different type of investor that gets in there but we've had no problem even at the beginning of this recession in June uh, we did a number of raises and we closed right. them very quickly Ron we gotta leave it there thanks, okay, for thanks very us. much Ron McDonald executive chairman of American Vanadium and that's it for Headline. If you missed any of today's program, you can always catch us online at bnn.ca. And if you have any comments about the show, send us an email at headline at bnn.ca. I'm Paul.